if we say so we are getting fps of around 35 to 37 35 to 37 and which is good which is good based on our hardware because we have a quite a good hardware hello guys and welcome back to the channel so this is the third video in our computer vision and ai series and in this video we are going to study about fps now what is fps fps is basically frames per second which means that how many frames your application or your hardware is able to process in one second let's say you're getting 30 fps in an application which means your application and hardware is able to process 30 frames in a second so we normally do inferencing over video files or a live video feed from the camera and it's always a good idea to have fps showing somewhere uh, in our code uh, in a frame because with FPS we will be able to decide how much speed we are getting in our application. Now FPS totally depends on what type of hardware you are using. If it's a high end hardware it's going to be very fast but if you have a low hardware it's going to be a bit slow. So I have Intel i5 7th generation laptop with 8 GB RAM installed in it. So let's start and let's see how much FPS uh, we will get with i5 and 8 GB RAM. Uh, if you guys have any other configuration of the system, please uh, comment below with uh, how much FPS you are getting. So I have the, uh, the project open with me. I will create a file, new file. Uh, FPS example. I will start by importing import CV2. I will import date time and I will import IM utils. I will create a main function and uh, we will read our video file. So let me copy the name of our video file. Test video. Okay, so now uh, in order to calculate frames per second, we need to take two variables. First is first we will contain first variable will contain the start uh, time value, and another will contain the end time value, and then we will subtract the start with the end to get the total number of seconds, and then we will divide the seconds with the number of frames to get the FPS value. So let's start by taking FPS start time, and this will contain the date time dot date time now value. Let's also take a FPS as zero and let's also take total frames equals to zero. Now after this same we will take a while true loop and we will read the frames from our video file which is cap dot read. And uh, again we are going to resize our frame so I am utils dot resize frame width equals to 800 now after this uh, what we'll do is we will increase total frames which means that this is the first frame and then it will be second third fourth and this will keep on going now after this we will take fps end time fps end time which will be again date time dot date time dot now and after this we will calculate the time difference which will be FPS start, FP, sorry, FPS end time minus FPS start time. And in order to calculate FPS, we will simply take total frames divided by time difference dot seconds. So the number of frames per divided by seconds. This will give us the FPS value. Now we need to display the FPS value in our frame. So we will go in, we will use uh, put text, which we discussed in our previous video. So first create a FPS text equals to FPS. Now the, now this FPS value will be in decimal value. So we need to convert that to two decimal points. So we will take FPS. Okay. Now we can simply use CV2 dot put text. Uh, we'll put this on frame, and we will have FPS text, and then we will we need to mention the coordinates. So we'll take five cross thirty. 
so 5 5 cross 30 will make a text display on top left corner which is what we wanted cv2 dot we will use font Hershley complex small and uh, font scale will be 1 color will be 0 cross 0 cross 255 and thickness is 1 now we will simply display oops I am show application frame uh, again this will be the same as our previous video dot weight key if key is equals to equals to Q we will break and once we break we will destroy all our windows great so now let's uh, call this main function perfect so what we have done is that we are reading our video file we are getting the frame here we are resizing it we are increasing the total frame count uh, here we are also getting the FPS end time and we are dividing we are subtracting this to get the time difference and then we are uh, dividing this by total frames to get the FPS and then we are simply displaying the FPS on our frame let's try to run this code run FPS example okay so zero division okay so we have an error and this error is probably because so initially the time difference will be zero so dividing by zero is not possible and we need to put in a condition here time difference dot second so if total number of seconds initially is zero then don't display anything so we'll will make FPS as 0.0 so this error basically means that so initially when we'll, we will start our code our time start time and end time will probably be very very same and that's why the total time difference the seconds will be zero and thus we cannot divide anything with zero that's why we have put this condition if time difference seconds is zero then we'll consider FPS as zero after few frames our FPS end time will increase and thus it will not be zero and, thus, and then we will get start getting our actual FPS let's try to run this code so okay so you can see that we are getting quite a good FPS so if we say so we are getting FPS of around 35 to 37 35 to 37 and which is good which is good based on our hardware because we have a quite a good hardware it's Intel i5 with 8 GB RAM and uh, the FPS is good so let's say if you have uh, i3 or any other then it might be a bit slow but in our case it's perfectly fine for us so 35 even if you're getting around 25 to 30 frames that's also perfectly fine for inferencing so anything above 20 we can consider that it's quite good it's not slow but anything which is below let's say 15 or 10 or 12 it might be a bit slow so which in our case is quite good so that's all for this video and uh, in this video what we studied is we studied FPS and uh, we will continue to use this code in our future videos and you will see that once we start inferencing once we start detecting persons or any other object this total FPS will start going down that is because of because we are doing inferencing we are doing some processing so so that's all for this video uh, thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to the channel